I believe you might have, once might have mentioned that Shulman Zalman Arbach, he once pointed out, and he said, how is it that we find many times in families, that many times they find in families that you have Tamir Chachomen, and the children, unfortunately, do not, don't follow the way of the, of, the, of the father, and they are not necessarily Tamir Chachomen. And then you find, uh, as you say, Poshna the Balabatim, Kam the Balabatim, not necessarily, you know, particular to be, and, and yet they are Zoyche, that their children turn out to be Tamir Chachomen. So why is that so? So he said, Rosh Hashanah says, there could be many reasons, but one reason is he said, when the Talmud Chocham, the father of the Talmud Chocham, sits at the table, Shabbos table, and his children are sitting around him, being that the father of the Talmud Chocham, so Mela on the table, on the Shabbos table, he criticizes every godel. After all, I'm also a Talmud Chocham. This godel said this wrong, and he says it in a disparaging way. So the children are growing up hearing how the father, right, is Mavatl Tamir Chacham, so he has no impetus to feel that he should become a Talmud Chocham. The Poshta Balabos, on the other hand, has a cherish for Tamir Chacham. After all, he's a Poshta Balabos. So when he sits at the shepherd's table, he says, oh, you know what this autumn God will say? You know what the other autumn God will say? So the children grow up, hearing how the father's makshif tamir chachomen, so that motivates them, they should also try to become an autumn God. So this, this is the idea of the chinuch, of how basically what they see, the attitude of the parent, the attitude of the father. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.